All right, welcome folks to Order of Operations. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's the order that you have to do mathematical operations. And they must be done in this order or you're going to get problems wrong every time. Now, maybe in middle, in, uh, excuse me, elementary school, your teachers taught you about something called PEMDAS and you remembered, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally in order to remember the order. Or you can just remember, PEMDAS and each one of these letters stands for a mathematical operation that you have to do in this order. So let's begin. The P stands for parentheses. So when you see a mathematical problem, if there are any parentheses, you have to do whatever is inside the parentheses first. After the parentheses, we have E and E stands for exponents. Write this down as I am doing it. And we know what exponents are. That is a base number with a power, an exponent. So this would be 3 to the second power or 3 times 3. So we first do anything that's inside parentheses. Then we look to see if there's any exponents and I do that. After that, I'm going to take the M and the D and I'm going to do those together. So I am going to do multiplication or division and I'm going to do those whichever comes first. Okay, so you do multiplication or division whichever comes first if well, you know, you're reading from left to right. Whichever comes first, okay, left to right. Just the way you read. Imagine you're reading it from left to right. Okay. Multication. Oh my goodness. Multi. I, I forgot some uh, letters. Let's, uh, how about we fix that? Multi. Multiplication. That's what happens when you write too fast. Multiplication. Okay. Then the next two we are going to take as a group, and that is A S. All right. So multiplication and division together, and we're also going to do addition. or subtraction, again, whichever comes first, whichever comes first, left to right. All right, so let's put this into action. What I want you to do is to just watch this, all right? Don't write this down because uh, I don't want you to write down uh, the incorrect answer. So let's say for example we had 8 plus 2 times 10 and we didn't follow PEMDAS and so what I did is oh okay I'm just gonna add 8 plus 2 is 10 and then I bring down the 10 and 10 times 10 is a hundred so my answer is hundred. <coughs> that is extremely wrong wrong. That is not following PEMDAS. Okay, I just started from the left and did to the right. So let's redo that. This time though, let's follow PEMDAS and do it the correct way. Okay, so 8 plus 2 times 10. So let's take a look. Are there any, is there anything in parentheses? No. I go to the next thing. Are there any exponents? No. Then I've got multiplication division, whichever comes first. So I've got 8 plus 2 multiplication. This comes first, so I'm going to first multiply. 2 times 10 is, what, 20. Let's make that look more like a 2. 2, and I'm going to put back the plus 8 because I didn't do that. So now I've done multiplication. There's no division or anything, so I'm done. Now I go down to the last two, A, S. 
addition, subtraction, whichever comes first, and I have addition, so 8 plus 20 is 28. This is the correct answer. Do you see how different the answers are when I did it wrong to how I did it correctly? So this is why PEMDAS is so important, that you follow the order so you can get the correct answers. All right, so let's practice PEMDAS um, in a variety of situations. Here we go. All right, write this problem down, okay? 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus, parentheses, 7 minus 2, parentheses. Okay, we are going to go through this problem using PEMDAS and doing what I call the underline method, which is what I'm going to expect for you to do to show your work. So, the first thing we look at, parentheses. Are there any parentheses? Yes, there are. So, we are going to do that first. So, we underline what we are going to do first. 7 minus 2, and that answer is 5. And now, so we got rewrite what we didn't use. 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 5. Well, let's fix that a little bit. Clean it up. Divided by 4. Okay, so I did parentheses first. Check. Exponents. Are there any exponents to do? Nope. Next. Multiplication and division, whichever comes first from left to right. So I'm going to go from left to right. Bam. There we go. I've got 8 divided by 4 right in the middle. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. Let's rewrite the rest of the problem around it. Okay. Um, do I have, there is no other multiplication or division. All right. So now, check, I've done all of those. Now the next thing is to look for addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. So I've got both addition and subtraction, but notice the subtraction comes first. So that's what I do, whichever comes first. So the 10 minus 2, I underline that. That is 8. Rewrite the part that I did not use. And now I'm left with just an addition problem. 8 plus 5 is 13. And that is it. I've done my PEMDAS. So the correct answer is 13. Let's try another. All right, here's another problem. Write this down. I've got 3 squared, 3 to the second power, plus 2. These parentheses, whenever you have a number right next to parentheses, it means multiplication. So this means 2 times the quantity of 8 minus 2, and parentheses, minus 3. All right, we're going to follow PEMDAS to solve this problem. So we start off with the P. Are there any parentheses? Yep. So that's what we do first. So the underline method. Go ahead and underline the 8 minus 2, and 8 minus 2 is 6. Now here's what you have to remember. You need to keep the parentheses around that because I've got that 2 outside of those parentheses, which means that is to be multiplied. Let's put back the rest of the problem. 3 squared plus 2. Remember, this is going to be times 6 minus 3. All right, so we've done our parentheses. Are there any exponents? Yep, there I go, right here. So I'm going to have to do the exponents. Remember, 3 to the second power means 3 times 3, not 3 times 2. So our underlying method, I'm going to underline what I'm going to do now. 3 times 3 is 9. Let's put back the rest of the problem. All right. I've taken care of my exponents. Let's move on to the M and the D. Multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. So let's take a look. And I've got multiplication right there. I underline. That's what I'm going to do next. 2 times 6 is 12. 
Let's put back what I have not used. All right, there is no other division, so I can take both of those. Check that off. The last part. The last part of PEMDAS is addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. I'm going to underline the 9 plus 12 because that comes first. 9 plus 12 is going to give me 21. And now I'm left with a subtraction problem. 21 minus 3 is 18. So following PEMDAS, my answer to 3 squared plus 2 times the quantity 8 minus 2 minus 3 is 18. All right, folks, time for you to do a few problems on your own. Okay, what I want you to do is just copy down problem number 1. All right, copy problem number 1 and then do problem number 1. When you're done, press play again and see how you did, okay? Okay, I'm going to solve this, and you follow along and see how you did. Okay, so following PEMDAS, what do we have to do? There are no parentheses, so I move on. There are no exponents, so I move on. I look for multiplication and division, whichever comes first. And I've got a division right here. Okay, so I'm going to go 10 minus 2 plus 6 divided by 3 is 2. All right, so I've, there's no other um, multiplication, so I'm going to move on to my addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. And I've got a subtraction problem right here. So 10 minus 2 is 8. Whoa, that's interesting. Sometimes those things happen. Um, <laughs> Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay. So 10 minus 2 is 8. Put back the plus 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. How'd you do? All right. Copy down problem number 2. Um, and then pause. Work it out. And then unpause to find the answer. All right. Let's go through this one. PEMDAS, are there any parentheses? Yes, there are. So I'm going to do these parentheses. 8 plus 2 is 10 minus, and I've got to go inside these parentheses. But inside these parentheses, I've got an exponent. So I need to do that part first. So it's going to be 9 minus 2 to the second power is 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. All right, and now I've still got parentheses, so I've got to do that next. So I'm going to bring down my 10. 10 minus 9 minus 4 is 5. And now I've got 10 minus 5, and so my answer is 5. Did you get that? If not, can you find the area that you had your mistake? All right, let's do the last one. Copy it down work it out, and then unpause to find your answer. All right, here we go. This final one using our PEMDAS. We look for our parentheses, and yes, we do. We've got right here. So I'm going to put back all the stuff I'm not going to use. 3 squared minus 15 divided by 5 plus 6 plus 4 is 10. Parentheses done. Next, exponents. Yep, I've got exponents right here. 3 to the third power is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. Put back everything else and continue on. Multiplication division, whichever comes first. And I've got a division right here. So 27 minus. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Put back the stuff I didn't use. All right, now my last part is the A and the S. Addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. I've got subtraction right here. 27 minus 3 is 24. 
put back the plus 10. 24 plus 10 is 34. There we go. How'd you do? If you're still having trouble with it, no worries. When you come to class, we'll do a seminar and um, help you get caught up. All right. See you guys later. Bye.